simply deploy guard troops to the border. It didn't take an act of Congress. What job do the women and the children do that we have to have them here other than the children's job is to dumb down the American children and overpopulate our schools? And until the president starts talking about how these illegal children and women are affecting our country, that's not a comprehensive plan. Well, I think this says a whole lot. When someone will go to the trouble and the expense of sending a brick to a member of Congress to remind that member of Congress that we need to protect the borders. I think this uh, not only is symbolic, but there's a message here. Um, I'd build a wall. In fact, I'd hire illegal immigrants to build the wall um, and, and throw out the illegals who are here. I just want to be clear to the journal and to this audience. I support the Minuteman Project and the fine Americans who make it up and all they've accomplished fully, relentlessly, and proudly. A trickle has become a tsunami, and it's not a tsunami that is here to become Americans or to assimilate and contribute the best of their culture and add it to what we've got here. We're talking about a group, uh, by and large, the illegal immigrants mainly, who are just here to rip off a piece and take it back to wherever they came from. Is it wrong of anybody to say, I don't want the town I grew up in to become overwhelmingly Mexican? Why is that wrong? I also say we need to do a few other things on top of that wall, and one of them be to put a little bit of wire on top here to uh, provide a disincentive for people to climb over the top or put a ladder there. We could also electrify this, this wire with the kind of current that wouldn't kill somebody, but it would simply be a discouragement for them to be fooling around with it. And we do that with livestock all the time. I clearly think that the, the people coming in from Mexico, and I assume Central and South America, are a threat to the culture of the United States. Because you write in your book, those who believe it doesn't matter from where they come will turn America into something she cannot survive, becoming a multicultural, multi-ethnic, multilingual tower of Babel. I don't know anything. I mean, the, all the kids are doing is looking for identity. I think these are a lot of kids, you know, poor kids, uh, struggling along in those schools, and they struggling to gain some sense of identity, so they're going to wave the Mexican flag because they feel somehow they are fighting for uh, Mexicans living in the United States, and they're going to get into crazy arguments about whether or not California should truly belong to Mexico or the United States. All kind of stupidity. But those are kids, Bill. I mean, kids who were, I mean, they used kids during the Civil Rights era as demonstrators. The kids know nothing. But